Hello, let's learn about coronary heart disease. First of all, coronary artery is a branch of the aorta. It is the one that supplies all the heart cardiac muscles with blood and oxygen and nutrients, everything that it takes in metabolism. So these arteries are extremely important and coronary heart disease is what takes place in the coronary arteries. So I'm drawing a heart to show you where the position of the coronary artery is. So that's the heart. If you remember this and this, this would be the aorta. You can see the branches going right here. This is the pulmonary vein. Coronary artery will be here. Just branches out over. It won't be this thin, I'm sorry. Goes on. Okay. okay. Coronary heart disease happens when fatty substances uh, deposit in the coronary artery and the coronary artery gets blocked. So we're gonna s we're gonna see a cross section of Archery for a better understanding. This is the archery walls. Artery walls, healthy artery walls. So, in arteries, fatty substances called atheroma are deposited. This actually happens to everyone, but these get more, you know, numerous when by age, and until one of them blocks an artery, it's not really noticed. So, after a moment, we'll do some others. So just fatty deposits. There would be blood flow, but it would be restricted than before.
So this is what the Atharuma does to an R3. But it can get worse. The surface of the Atharuma can get rough. And this could cause a blood clot. This blood call, clot is called... So this could get... This... This could get rough. This could cause the blood to clot here. Slowly clot over here. And this blood clot will keep increasing. Just piling on, 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 on. This could block an artery. This is called thrombus. This clot is called a thrombus. And this condition is called a coronary thrombosis. So when the blood clot can block the artery and this could, you know, block the blood flow to the ventricles and if it happens so the muscles of the, the cardiac muscles won't get oxygen and nutrients and the heart can stop beating this is what is a heart attack from coronary thrombosis so so this this could lead to a heart attack. The more technical name for a heart attack is myocardial infarction. But in the early stages of coronary heart disease, the arteroma will only partially block the coronary artery, which will reduce supply to the heart. And this will lead to angina pectoris, which, which is just like a pain in the chest when the person exercises or exerts themselves. Angina pectoris. This is due to restricted blood flow, due to the thrombus, due to the atheromas. And this is a warning. It's a warning to what's gonna come up next. A heart attack. Mm. So that's basically what how, uh, coronary heart disease is. And here's um, I'm gonna draw more 3D. Archery for you for better understanding.
So this is a bar tree lined with atherome and blocked by a fungus. That's going to be a lining or coating of atheroma on the artery lining. And this is atheroma is building up on the apical. There's one more thing you need to know in a bad coronary heart disease. That's the how it's caused, the risk factors. The risk factors are diet rich in cholesterol, which can be prevented by reducing the intake. Another risk, emotional stress. You can do stress management like yoga and breathing exercises and stuff like that. Smoking is a very big cause to heart disease. And another thing is a history of heart disease. But usually you can prevent you know, getting heart disease, even though if you have an S history, by exercising regularly and maintaining your health well. So, that's all about coronary heart disease. Thank